20,000 children, children died at school. At school. Think about it. That's a staggering number, and it's hard to wrap your head around it, but this might help. How many people do you think are in here today, right now? Yeah. 20,000, give or take. 20,000 kids like you who did nothing wrong, were sent to a residential school to which many never came home. Now today, there are no residential schools left. The last one closed up. It's a good thing, for sure. I mean, there never, there never should have been one in the first place, but the last one closed shop in 1996. Before uh, any of you were born, I, I imagine. But the weird thing is, the problem hasn't entirely gone away. Today, Indigenous kids in remote communities have to leave home to attend high school. At the age of 13 or 14, as they're leaving grade 8 and going into grade 9, they have to move to cities where they're put into boarding houses or billeted with a family they don't even know. I can't imagine that any of you here today think that that is a good idea. It's not. What do you think? You think that's a good idea? It's a terrible idea. These kids, these teenagers like you, need to be home with their families. Their communities need high schools, and they need them now. Now, the kids that go away to high school, some of them do okay, but many others fall through the cracks. They end up on the streets, they enter into cycles of addiction, and many never make it home. Sound familiar? These high school kids need to be at home. And we need these communities to have high schools. So let's do something about that. I really think it's time for a change. I really do. It's not right. Now, Gord and I and some very good friends have just launched a fund toward this end. And we want your help, all 20,000 of you. The Gord Downey Chani Wenjek Fund is going to create a pathway between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. It's going to help bring these two solitudes together. That's you and the Indigenous. It's really important. It's really important. Now, let's be clear. There is no single solution to reconciliation. So what the fund is going to do is launch many boats many boats of reconciliation that are going to start the healing and improve the lives of our Indigenous brothers and sisters. Come on. We can do this. Now, there are already some very smart people paddling their own boat, doing important work, like taking instruments into remote communities and teaching kids how to play, and training teachers down here on the best teaching practices for when they take a job in a reservation. Those things help. Things are starting to happen, and the Downey Wenjack Fund is going to shine a very bright light and breathe oxygen to help these initiatives grow. It's going to take some time, but it has to start sometime, and I think that time is now. Don't you think so? Don't you think so? I do. You know what? I think it's time to show First Peoples who have lived here where we are standing and where your homes are built, have lived here for 10,000 years. That's a big number. Join Gord's call for reconciliation right now by visiting Downey, that's I-E, 
wenjack.ca and tweeting and snapping with the hashtag secretpathgd. Let's come together. It's our hope. Yeah, let's, let's come together. We want to be a real country. We can be an important country. No one else has done this. This is hard to do, but we can do it. It's difficult work, but we know this generation, your generation, is going to get it right. We're not going to repeat the mistakes of the past. We can do this. Can you help? Will you help? Will you? His life and his story one day be told. On Sunday night on CBC at 9 o'clock, you can watch the entire Secret Path film and experience Charlie's life for yourself. And please, please, when you watch Secret Path, watch it with your family, watch it with your friends, and talk about it. Talk about residential schools. Talk about what each of us can do in the name of reconciliation, and then let's get to work.